So a skybox is a method of creating a scenery background in a 3D environment. And I will be covering how to change the skybox with the Atmos plugin, which lets you dynamically change the skybox and the lightning in a Roblox game. And this plugin is paid, but don't worry, it's not going to be the only thing I'm gonna cover in this tutorial. I will also be showing how you can change the skybox manually. And this is the Atmos dev forum post that I'm gonna leave in the description. But in here you have the overview and what this plugin is. Here it says that Atmos is a plugin that makes it easy to find, preview and apply professional skyboxes and lighting configuration in your games. So here you have the skybox preview, then different filters that make it easier to find skyboxes that you need. And you also have a skybox preview window that you can look around in before applying the skybox. And after you scroll down under this video, there is going to be this link right here that takes you to the model. And it's this model made by Eltob, and I need to go into a new tab really quickly, because I know that you can buy this model on the marketplace for currently 30 US dollars. And this price tag is the reason why I also want to show how to change the skybox manually, because not everybody is going to have the 30 dollars. But normally after you buy the plugin it's going to say try in studio instead. And I always say that you need to check if the model is actually made by the right person, to know if this is not a scam or anything. But without further ado, let's jump into studio now. So once I am in studio, I can see the Atmos plugin in my inventory, right here in the toolbox, under my plugins. And it's also going to appear right here in the plugins tab, under the skyboxes button right here. If you can see it after getting the plugin, you need to go into your manage plugins, and then find your Atmos plugin right here and enable it. But basically after you open the plugin, you will have a preview of all of these different skyboxes. And you can also see that there is quite a few of them. And down here at the bottom there is also this filter button that allows you to filter through all of these things like the weather, environment, light direction and light settings. So let's say I wanted a skybox that had scattered clouds, then no environment and also no light direction setting. Then I can press on OK and I'm going to have these two skyboxes here. So you have the preview image, the name of the skybox and also this icon here. And this icon means that the skybox has a lighting setting. If I press on no lighting it's going to disappear because this skybox has a lighting setting right there. And to add a skybox with the Atmos plugin it's just as simple as pressing on one of these skyboxes right here and it's going to create this little preview box. So I'm going to press on it right now and I'm just going to drag around. And this is the skybox preview. And I have two options. One of them is either I can apply the preview and it's going to apply the preview with the lightning setting that it has currently or I can apply it without lightning. But I'm going to apply it right now. And here it changed the setting and also the lightning in the environment. And this is how the scene is going to look like now. And this skybox is going to appear here in the explorer under the lightning. And here you can also see that it applied the lightning settings like the brightness and the time and the latitude. And you can also see that we have two sky instances this is the afternoon sky that we added, and this is the default sky that we had previously. And that is because if I, let's say, try to apply this skybox, and just press on apply, it is going to add the next instance without removing the previous ones. So you need to remove them manually, like this. Oh, and I forgot to mention that you can also change the field of view in the preview by just using your scroll wheel. And this is the newly added sky with the lighting settings in our scene now. So you can see that using this plugin is really simple. And you can even change it to something like a purple nebula. By just pressing on apply. And here you can see that it changed the skybox, like this. And if you wanted to have a rocky environment, you could for example just select this one and press on apply. And now this is how the skybox is going to look. And I don't know why, but we also have the default sky right here. That you can also get by deleting every single one of these instances. 
So I don't really know the purpose of this one. So that's it for basically just using the plugin. And now let me just go over how to change the skybox in Roblox Studio. And first we need some theory. So here you already know what a skybox is. But I mostly want to focus on this part right here, on the skybox image faces. Where, like I mentioned previously, the skybox is a cube, and here you can see it being folded. But to make the skybox, we basically just need 6 of these images. And we can either create our own or look for them on the internet. And after we get them, we need to apply them to the sky instance, into these right properties. And now I'm going to show you a way of acquiring a skybox. And one of the places that you can get a skybox is for example Open Game Art, where you can get them under the Creative Commons licenses. So normally you would just go to the Browse and the 3D Art, and then search for the skybox right here and then just press on Search. And of course you could also use different websites, but Open Game Art is what I use for stuff like this, so I just recommend it. But let's say I wanted to select this skybox texture right here, and here you have different previews on the skybox, as well as the licenses. And this one for example is under the Creative Commons free license, which I believe you can use this texture for anything, but you have to credit the author. But anyways, under the files we are going to find this daylight box pieces that zip, so let me just download this, and these are the sky pieces after extraction. You have the back, bottom, front, left, right and top. And now I need to upload these into Roblox. And here I have these images. So I'm just going to remove the Sunless Blue Sky instance and add another Sky instance into the Lightning service. And here I just need to put in the appropriate images. So for up I'm going to select the top one. And here you can also see it basically just changing. Then for right I need to select the right one. Same with the left one. Then the front. Then this is going to be the back. Oh no, this is the down one, so it's going to be the bottom. And then the back one right here. Okay, but it seems that I messed something up, and that is probably because this preview right here is not the same as this one here. This up and down one would normally be going from the back instead of the left one. So I kind of just need to move this row one to the left. So again, just press on the sky instance. And I would probably be best of going from the top. So the back one is going to be the left. And here it already fits. So then the right one needs to be the front. Yep. So the back one is left. So this one is going to be the right. And then there is this left one, which is going to be the back. Like this. And now we have a proper skybox. And now everything is basically just done. Now this place has a new different skybox, like this. And just on the side note, if some of the skyboxes aren't divided into pieces, for example you can only download in, in this format, because some of the game engines just use this as a texture, when on Roblox you have to put 6 different textures into their slots. But if it's like this, you are going to have to cut everything manually. Here I'm just going to download the UV map. Then here I'm going to have it in Photoshop. And what I need to do is have a square selection. And then just select the whole square like so. Then just double check if every pixel is within the boundary. And normally I would just separate this as a different layer. Where I can either do it by Ctrl Shift J. So it's going to cut this whole square out. Or just Ctrl J instead. So it's just going to duplicate the selection into a different layer. Then after just having this square right here, I can hold Ctrl and press on it. So it's going to create another square right here. Then just go to Select. And then Transform Selection. And just move it down while holding Shift, so it's going to snap. Then just press Enter. Make sure I have the right layer selected. And again press Ctrl and J. And just repeat the process for all of these squares. So now I'm going to have this one separated in all of these different squares and I just need to give them proper names. 
So this is the top one, then this is the front, then bottom, left, then this is the right, and this is the back. And here I just need to layer them one on top of another. And again just select one of them. And while having this selection right here, I can go into image, then press on crop. So it's going to crop the canvas so all of these pictures fit perfectly. And I can either export them one by one, or just press on file, then go to export, and press on layers to files. Then just leave the prefix at daylight, save them at JPEG format and press on run. And then export layer to files was successful. And then all of these files are going to be exported right here. And that's everything for getting the skybox pieces from the UV map. But that is basically going to be everything for today. So as usual, if you found this tutorial informative, then please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you want to support me more, you can become a channel member for benefits on my Discord server and my YouTube channel. But yeah, hope everyone had a nice day and see ya guys.